All right, thanks for joining me. This video, I'm going to teach you how to work with conditional formatting among text and specifically with a certain rows of cells here. But first, let's begin by just doing a basic uh, formula in Excel, basic, uh, conditional formatting, where I would like to make all of the rent uh, change colors. So to do that, I've selected my cells. I'm going to go to the Home tab. Select conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, text that contains, and then I can type rent and pick whichever color I'd like here. Okay, and as we look at those, you'll see that if I were to type rent over top of an existing one, hit enter, it would change like that. Okay. Now, what if you wanted to, let me clear those out here, clear rules. What if we wanted to highlight the whole row if it equals rent? All right, now to do that, we would need to make a selection of the entire data set. Like that. And it's real important that when you make your selection, you're starting with the first row of the records. Not necessarily that it might have the category you're looking for. And then we'll go to conditional formatting, new rule. And from here, we can click use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to type an equal sign, dollar sign, D2 equals rent. Now, when I make rent, it needs to be in quotation marks. And what that's saying there is look at the D cell, lock down the column D, but have the row two go down, down, down format and we'll just pick a color here oh, that's the font color I meant to do the fill color all right that looks good and okay and just like that we've got it so that formula is going down it's it's selected the whole thing it's looking each row, we didn't have a dollar sign in front of the two for D2, just the column to hold the column. It's going down doing that. Another cool trick I'm going to undo that is you can make a selection of all your categories, copy them, and then just kind of come up to the side and paste them. And with those selected, we can go to data tab and remove duplicates. I'm just gonna to try to prune this list here. Okay, I'm gonna sort, right click, sort A to Z. Okay, so that's the list there. I'm gonna actually come to my, uh, create a drop down list for those items there. And I'll just pick, let's just pick a G1 to be the list. And then G2 can be a drop down of the category by going to data validation, data tab. You've got the data validation here, data validation, choose a list. The source will come from these items here. And notice the in cell drop down. So, what that gets us is a nice list where we can select certain things okay now the power of that is if we use that same rule from the conditional form we can link it to cell g2 and that way if i change it i want to see how much money we spend in software we could just easily do that okay all right so begin step one would be you make a highlight of all your data that you want to work with Step two, go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, 
and select the new rule formula, use a formula to determine. Now it's a little different this time. This time we want it to be equals dollar sign G dollar sign two, whatever it is that you're going to have that drop down in equals. And then we'll link it to D two, but I just clicked on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the dollar signer from the two there. Format. Then okay. Okay. And then we are almost done. If I were to hit the drop down and change it to software, see all the software that's going there. So you can see this very powerful way to generate conditional formatting for troubleshooting on a certain category that comes off your list there. Hey guys, thanks for watching uh, this video on Excel using conditional formatting to format a row of data that matches a certain text condition. If you'd like to stay tuned for future blog posts and resources or go check out the archives, just head on over to my website at sequentiasolutions.com forward slash blog will get you my blog entry and forward slash books will get you books that I recommend. Thanks.